Aquarius, hello and welcome to your April 2024 monthly reading. Aquarius, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs, your Venus, to see if there's any clarity or guidance in other readings for you, if that's what you're looking for, if you're not getting the answers you seek in here. And if you need more, um, I am um, available for private readings also. So check that out in the description if you're interested in that. I'm going to give these a quick shuffle because their energy is wonky. All right, Aquarius, what do we have for you? We start with the Ace of Swords. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all of you all. Our King of Pentacles, interesting. We have the Page of Pentacles. So we have a lot of grounded signs here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Hermit. Of course, you know, you come out here with the Ace. Right there. That crosses you with that grounded energy. Maybe you're too flighty. Maybe you need to ground yourself a little bit. Uh, maybe you're spending too much money. <laughs> Five of Swords. Hmm. Three of Pentacles again. The Pentacles. Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Five of Cups. World. Beautiful card to end on. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Interesting. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What have we got going on? What have we got going on? Let's see. All right. We start out with, again, the Ace of Swords, ideas, thoughts, communication. You could be talking to somebody new. You could be talking to somebody about a job with the King of Pentacles. It could be somebody, a higher um, person in a company, um, CEO, a boss. Uh, you could be putting in for a higher job title even. There's knowledge there is communication there is fortitude here with the ace of swords there is a presence of action being taken toward higher pay higher position higher ground um, somebody could have your deciding factor in their hands so to speak but it's definitely money oriented and and maybe a higher position higher job um, I feel like you could, you may be teaching or you may be sharing your knowledge with somebody in the present. Page of Pentacles is the bottom. This can be the new endeavor coming in here. This could be what started it all. This could be like um, a side hustle or a side job or um, a different job in a company that you took that's turning into maybe a more permanent position. It could be something that you took and then you said, hey, why don't we do this? You have a lot of ideas that you could add to something. Started out as a seed and it's grown. This can also be a child. The reason why you're you're doing all you're doing in the higher position is maybe for a child or maybe for um, providing for a child even with the Page of Pentacles. But it can also be like the seed being planted and taking something on to the next level as you move in because it's a foundation card. Your past energy is the hermit. I feel like you've put a lot of thought into this. I put. I feel like you put a lot of thought into what you want to establish and what you want to grow and what you want to do. This wasn't a card of, um, this wasn't a card. This wasn't a, um, this wasn't something you did just, just willy nilly. You know, you, you really put a lot of thought into this. I feel like you packed in a lot of your past, um, experiences. Also, you come with a lot of knowledge is what I'm getting. This is a card of Virgo. You come with a lot of knowledge. Absolutely. Um, I feel that in the present, there's a lot of people that might not agree with your, your tactics, your way of doing things, your, um, there, there's a little confusion. There's some chaos here. There's a little bit of misunderstandings, I guess, or people not understanding or people balk, balking at a system or balking at what you're doing. 
uh, could be some jealousy going on. But in the long run, with the present energy, I feel like you work well with others. This could be family members. This could be family members upset with you for one reason or another. Also, brothers, sisters, kind of like that. Maybe they feel you're not pulling your weight or maybe they feel you're not ever home or whatever. Um, but the Three of Pentacles shows you, you know, expansion and growing and teaching and, and learning and sharing, right? With the Three of Pentacles, you, you have growth in your um, job, growth in what you're doing, growth in your um, career, pretty much. Four of Cups represents you, and this talks about boredom. So you could have changed things up. You could have shifted things because maybe you were bored where you're at. Maybe you were just um, focused on some of the past and not really what was in the future or what, what could be in the present. Uh, you needed something to shake you up out of maybe just a um, depression a little bit. The energy around you is the Seven of Swords. This talks about someone taking something that belonged to you, taking being sneakily behind your back, doing things behind your back. It can also be your thoughts running away with you. So this is the energy around you, and it could be where... Um, Maybe you work for a company that somebody took your ideas or you work for a company that somebody took your ideas and nobody cared. So you're like, why bother? Why bother putting any putting anything into anything, right? Why bother? Um, there could be a big deal, a big uh, deal that you worked up or something that somebody took from you or claimed as theirs because you have this card of uh, loss. You have this card of loss. This is your hopes and fears. And you have a card of loss and you have to see that you still have, you're still viable. There's still things here for you to do. There's still things here for you to love. There's still a life for you to live. I feel like you went through a depression, some type of dark space, dark time. You can maybe be in it a little bit, but I feel with the Ace of Swords, you have this uh, new breath of fresh air, this new beginning coming in. Um, and it's your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the the knowledge, the thoughts. Uh, the action being taken toward a goal of a head of a company or working with the head of a company or being seen or being acknowledged here by this uh, King of Pentacles. So that I feel like you're coming out of that energy. Um, this is your fear, though, that you, you know, you can go back into the dark place. You can go back into it. It's almost like you can just slink back into it like a shadow. You know, you can just go back into it. Um but the world card, the final outcome card is telling you that you've come full circle on a situation and that there, there is no going back. This is a fixed card. You've learned your lessons and now you're ready to move on to the next phase, which is a new beginning and a new start. And I feel that's what you're doing with the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. You could even be changing jobs. You could be changing careers in midstream. You could be doing it because it's a seed you planted and there could be a lot of... Um, There could be a lot of people that want want to do this or want you on their team. That could be what the Five of Wands is. Maybe there's a lot of competition for you and you chose this company uh, because you work well with them. But the world, again, the world card's telling you that you're done this. You know, you'll, you'll be able to put this aside. You'll be able to put that part behind you and move forward. It's a beautiful card of completion and moving on. There could be travel involved or there could be movement like you've moved companies, move state even. The world card is a fixed sign. Um, you have the Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius energies here. That's all the fixed energies. Um, and it's a beautiful card of... I just feel like full circle. Full circle with the world. Full Full circle. Having that energy of abundance and enough, you know, everything you've gone through, it's enough. You've had enough. Subconscious. So you have subconscious, you know, with your five of cups as your fear and your seven of swords, the energy around you, you're, you're afraid that things are going to happen again. Six of swords talks about moving Moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. The death card talks about transformation. Letting go of the burdens that you've been carrying. Letting go of the burdens that, that you've been carrying. Doing something traditionally. Doing something that is near and dear to your heart and your soul with a higher fan. You know, plant your seeds for the future. Plant your seeds and you will still hold your ground. 
You'll be still holding your ground for what you are uh, believing in and what you believe in. You are going to protect yourself and your family for this beautiful energy of the happily ever after card, the Ten of Cups, right? Completion, whatever it is that makes your heart happy, you absolutely will go for that. But you have that Six of Swords energy moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. It's not saying that you know everything, that everything's you know, you know, the answers to everything. That's not what it's saying, but you are moving yourself into a better position. You're jockeying into a better position for your health, for the health of your family, for the health of your environment, right? Just your environment in general, Aquarius, is you're being healthier in everything you're doing. You could be going to counseling, you could be going to therapy, which is all very well and good and recommended, absolutely. Um, and I feel all that in and, in and of itself helps you. The Hermit also can be a card of, you know, if you've gone to therapy, it's pulling in that and pulling in the knowledge that you've gained in therapy into this, um, into what you're going through. I almost feel like you're getting out of a bad situation at work, moving into a better situation at work. And bad situation meaning people didn't respect you, people took your ideas, people, and nobody did anything about anything. Like nobody listened to you, nobody cared. All right. Let me know. Let me know, guys. Aquarius. One more card. One more card for Aquarius. The Oracle's Gift. Looks like tea, right? Tea leaves, tea. The Oracle's Gift. How pretty is that card? Key concepts are second sight, clairvoyance, seeing the future, fate as a future uh, determined by the choices you make now, seeing the signs around you, recognizing potentials, Versus absolute determination, determinism. Something with the Four of Cups is, you know, we can be so focused on our past that we don't see the gift that's in front of us, which is the cup being offered. You can be so focused on what you've lost or focused on what someone said to you or did to you that you're not seeing the, this opportunity also. So that is telling you to pay attention to what's around you as well, because it's you. That's you. When we ask for a sign from the universe, we are essentially asking for divine guidance that we believe needs to come from source outside of us. This is because we don't always trust our intuition, our ability to read between the lines and see beyond time and space. And so we ask for signs and look for mystical re reassurances that our mundane lives don't seem to offer. However, an oracle simply provides an answer that is already inside of us. Oracles show up in a myriad ways. Sometimes you see a billboard or hear a song or pull an oracle card and you get the exact message you need to support your choices or show you the way forward. Regardless of how the sign appears, an oracle is a reminder that you are a part of the vast universe. You are witnessed by the great mystery and loved and cared for. It's a reminder that life is magical. You are magical. Today, trust in your own capacity to know what is right, to tune into source, and be able to read the signs reflecting what is true and real within you. Let this oracle give you the gift of knowing that you are indeed on the right track. Repeat this mantra. The light within me creates miracles in my life. The magic is inside you, outside you, all around and within you. Oh, how beautiful is that? Whew, how beautiful is that, Aquarius? It's all around you. You know, if you've ever had doubt that you don't have what it takes, you have what it takes. It's telling you that. You have it. You have it. I feel like you've done the work. You've put in the time. You know the reasons you're doing things and you're moving yourself forward. You're moving yourself out of stagnant drama and tumultuous water and, you know, people talking about people and all the things into calmer waters. The fog will clear and you'll see clearly as you move yourself forward. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. 
Aquarius, let me know how this resonates. I would love to hear from you. Share this with any Aquarius as you know or anybody you know that needs to hear this reading. If you think they need to hear it, then please send it to them. Take care of yourselves and each other. Be safe. Um, you know I put readings out for love and I put these out and I do unboxings and I do pick a card readings. So if you're interested in any of that, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. I thank you all for being here. Good luck to you this month. Again, let me know in the description how this resonates with you. I love to hear from you guys. As always, take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.